The Saints have a few changes in the backs from last Sunday. With centre Brian Johnston injured, Tony Trudgett finds himself in the three-quarter line with Mark Cannon coming in at 5'8". Steve Morris returns after broken ribs to displace Kev Kelly as halfback. However, the forwards comprise the same pack which laid the foundations for last week's victory over Wests. With Terry Fay again on the wing instead of David Michael, the Roosters, with only one exception, have chosen the same side which thrashed Canberra last week by 55 to 15. Hooker Kevin Webb has been replaced by last year's test rake, Jeff Masterman, and his clash with John Dowling will be full of interest. Saints have... Steve Morris did well to put him down there after being initially bumped off. Masterman, Brown, making a good run too, Dave Brown. Yes, and Bobby Fulton is very surprised that this fellow wasn't picked in the State of Origin game. As you said, Alan, he's a Queensland State player, and uh, Bob was surprised he didn't make the team. Here's Noel Quill making another strong run. Just shows you the danger of this big fellow when he gets going. Good passing from St George, and out to Trudgett. A little bit of room to move now, and he's got good pace, and a lovely tackle from Hastings. Beautiful cover defence from the halfback. Here's Wynn running out wide. Took the ball beautifully and strongly up the middle. And away to Johnson. Good play by the Saints. It's gone loose. Another one for St George. And Stevie Morris is almost... He's there! He was caught by Hastings short of the line. But my word, I never knew the little fellow was so tall. It proved very successful. Craig Young, Stone, Steve St George forward standing a bit wider now, in attack especially, Trudgett, Trudgett carving them up the middle, ran into Noel Cleal, and that's one way to hit the ground, that would hurt anybody. Graham Wynn got a good straight left there, that'll keep him back his distance in the play of the ball. Hastings, throwing it out wide, that's Warnicky. Straight across field, over the top, and it's gone to Gitto. Gitto showing a good turn of pace. Cannon after him, and a lovely tackle by Mark Cannon. But it's down to the quarter line. Here's East on the move. Ailiff. That's O'Reilly to Hastings. To Noel Cleal. It's Ailiff. Back to Noel Cleal. Brother Les is standing there waiting for the ball to come to him. Noel Cleal's going to play it. About 18 metres out. Hastings. This is the sixth tackle coming up. So the bomb puts pressure on Johnson. He's dropped it. It's dropped it. And that could be a try. And it's a try. A try awarded to Ricky Walford. Johnson had it. He lost it. Ricky Walford on the spot. Has touched down. East come back into the game. And it's 5-3. Ron Gitto. Levels the scores. Six minutes into the second half. Seven point try because Robert Stone was involved with the referee, with the uh, Ricky Wolford after Wolford had touched down. You saw in the replay of the try that when Wolford touched down, Robert Stone came in into his back over the top. And Danzi ruled a seven point try which gives Gitto now the penalty kick right in front. Gitto from right in front makes no mistakes. 7-5, East's lead, eight minutes into the second half. In their own quarter line. Two controversial decisions within the space of a minute. Robert Stone in the sin bin. And Ricky Walford striding away. St George with 12 men. Stone having got a sentence of 10 minutes in the sin bin for that incident that led to the seven point try. Walford. Dave Brown short of halfway. Back to Hastings. Line side is Warnicky, a kick over the top, driving St George back, Johnson getting across, and it won't find touch. Warnicky and Walford. It's a 
Sorodimi. Throwing it out to the setters. This is Cannon. Now Kinchella. Quinn. Cannon. East defence coming up very quickly now. Yes, they're moving up very well, Eastern Suburbs. And on that occasion, they had St George running sideways. And in fact, they look very disjointed, uh, St George. I think that seven-point try and the loss of Robert Stone has really shocked them. Well, this will shock them too because Quinn's lost possession and Easts go back on the attack. O'Reilly, good strong tackle. That's Hastings. Pass there to Les Cleal. Gurr. Warnicky. Centre is Ron Gitto. Walford. Ricky Walford, plenty of room. He's got the fullback to beat. Can't do it. But they're only eight metres out, East. Pressing for another try. Ailiff. Pass Schubert. It's gone to Fay. A penalty in the tackle. It is against Jarvis. Ron Gitto from the quarter line gets another two points. East further in front, four-point lead now. Nine points to five is the score. That's about 12 minutes into the second half. It's Warnicky. Hastings, Cleal. Les has dropped the ball. St George have got it. Robert Stone. Dowling. Back to Quinn. And the defence caught offside. And he's just on 21 metres out from goal. Very still day now. No breeze. Steered straight over the red dot. Two points the difference in the scores. 9-7 East's lead. We're certainly in for a close game here, a close finish, I believe, and possession is going to be so very important, uh, particularly they've got a hold onto it. Errors. Errors could play a leading part in this, and of course that, uh, they've got to treat that ball as gold. Again, Eastern Suburbs, their defence, full marks to them, because uh, to hold St George to that 5-0 lead at half-time, and then to come back and hit the lead of 9 points to 7 at this stage, and, and still defending very well, they deserve great credit. Robert Stone getting it back to Young. And good backing up with Jarvis, waiting for the ball. To Dowling. Stone. Well, the St George forwards in the second half ran riot over their Western Suburbs opponents. To win this game today, they've got to do the same thing. Here's Morris. He's a match winner, and there's Craig Young, looks for support. He ran away from Quinn, and somehow got the pass away to Cannon. It's play on, Cannon and Les Cleal. There's the incident there. So use of the elbow, and uh, apparently what, he's still on. No, he's not sent off. He was just set away from the ruck. He's been penalised. Danzy waving him away, but Hastings is still there. He looked very dicey for Eastern Suburbs there at one stage. They're only down to 12 men. However, St George... Here's Craig Young, he's over! <laughs> St George back in front. Position's becoming very dark. Young... Great to see Craig Young really taking that ball up to uh, to East as well. He's been criticised lately of not uh, playing a leading role, but he's uh, certainly the second half he has been. Tannen, the ball face down, it's Trudgett, Trudgett away. No, it's not, it's Conchella. Conchella racing for the line. Conchella's going to race it and score. Dennis Conchella in to score. Match with eight minutes to go. Wrap around, Hastings nearly through. It's Warnicky. Schubert. Ailiff's pass finds Gitto. Barkley and O'Reilly. And Masterman, Masterman's there. Good try. Play. There's Rocket Ready there in amongst it, and I'm told uh, earlier before the game that he'll be available next week. Uh, personally, I think he'd be very lucky to get in the first on their performances the way they've been going. Chris Walsh, Pat Jarvis, Graham Wynn, St George back row three, 
Uh, incredible, uh, outstanding performance. Craig Young, but I think the honours must go to John Dowling. He's given St George every chance of winning this game. They haven't won it as yet. There's still plenty of time to go. Well, that could make the difference with Noel Peel bursting downfield. And he's going to race in and score a match-winning try. St George throwing the game away in the last couple of minutes. Gitto not able to convert the try. And a penalty to East on halfway. The St George players coming within the 10 metres. There's a fight breaking out over on the far side between Warnicky and one of the St George players. Steve Morris it is from St George. And this game really erupted. Picked up that ball and won it for Eastern Suburbs. Nothing in the game, but I think we've got to give full marks to East for the amount of ball they didn't get in the first half. It was only uh, restricted St George to a 5-0 lead at half-time. Uh, hit the lead 9-5. Nine, nine, uh, Here's Florida. a try. Here's a try coming up. Les Cleal. St George. Well, what a different game with Gitto converting from right in front to, in the end result, make this a very handsome victory for Eastern Suburbs. But in fact, they've scored two tries in the last five minutes of the game to come back from 15-9 down to win the game by 22-15. to 15. East's four second half tries were scored by Ricky Walford, Jeff Masterman and Noel and Les Cleal. Ron Gitto, five goals from seven attempts. For St George, the try scorers, Steve Morris, Craig Young and Dennis Conchilla. Graham Wynn kicked three out of five. East favoured in penalties by 12 to 11. St George won all the ball from the scrums, though, by 12 to 4. Well, for 75 minutes of the game, St George did a marvellous job in blotting the Cleal brothers out of the game, but they then threw the game away by allowing each of them in for a try in the last five minutes. With five minutes to go, St George were leading 15 to 14. They seemed to have had the game won when East scored this try. It came with play on halfway, and the ball went out towards the blind side where Craig Young threw this long pass, but it was knocked down by Graham Quinn. Noel Cleal snapped it up and went racing away towards the try line, and with the try that was then scored, Easts regained the lead 17 to 15, and eventually they were able to run out easy winners of the game. Well, seven tries scored in the match. Reg, which was your best? Dennis Kinchella, the St George wingman, scored an outstanding try in the second half to give his side a lead of 15 points to nine. It was a great individual effort. As we see here uh, from the play of the ball, Morris, Cannon puts a little chip over the top. Graham Quinn challenges. Terry Fay there. Kinchella picks up the loose ball. Marty Gurr tries desperately to tackle him. Kevin Hastings coming across also. And Kinchella realising he's there, tries to improve his position. Royce Ayloff having a go there, but a great try. Despite being on the losing side, I've chosen St George hooker John Dowling as my man of the match today. He had an advantage over his Australian, or the Australian hooker, uh, Jeff Masterman, 12 to 4 in the set scrums, and certainly could not be blamed for St George's loss here today. Dowling is in great form leading up to next Tuesday's State of Origin match, in which he'll be representing...